we bought it in New York City probably in the very late 90s. And we found it in a, a Native American shop that was just behind the Museum of Natural History. Oh, cool. Tell me what you've learned about the piece. You've done a little bit of research. I've had a hard time finding information on it, except for what's written on the bottom. Okay, let's, let's look at the bottom here, and you can see that it's signed on one leg, and then the other one indicates that it's Acoma, which is in New Mexico. And I believe the artist was D. Antonio. Okay. And I know a little bit about an Antonio family that did etch work on pottery, but when we tried to find things online that were actually sculpture and cast, we didn't find anything. So I, that's about as far as I got with the research. Okay, let's talk first of all about what this is. You have what we call greenware or molded pottery, and then we have the ones that are handmade. This is a molded piece. Now the other thing that's important to note about this is it's this technique of decoration. It's not painted, it's called sgraffito, S-G-R-A-F-F-I-T-O, which literally means to scratch away. So this is what it is. I want to point out some of the fascinating designs, you know, the, the eagle and the deer, and then there's one on the backside that I really love. And this image over here of this dancer is actually from what I believe to be Bodmer, who was an early artist that traveled in the Northern Plains. Mm. So they've really become eclectic in the way they've chosen their designs. Now, let's talk about value. You said you paid how much in the late 1990s? I don't remember. My husband and I think it was between 500 and 800. Okay. That was a lot of money yeah. to pay then. And I think you might have overpaid a little bit then. Mm -hmm. What is going in the marketplace now, and, and generally because of the economy and that sort of thing, it, it's a little bit flat. However, these large, very decorated pieces are becoming more and more popular. So that's the good news. Today, in this marketplace, in this economy, it's probably worth about what you guys paid for it in the 500 to 1,000 in a, in a retail store. As an investment piece, I think it's a great investment and in the next you know, 10 or 20 years, I think it could be worth a lot more. 